Hi everyone, this is Jupiter Jim from jupiterjim.com. A lot of people don't realize it, but I design WordPress blogs and websites for a living, and you can find me right at jupiterjim.com. I also have a blog, Jupiter Jim's Marketing Team. I'll be redoing this uh, layout and, and colors in a bit. But anyways, uh, I have over 95 WordPress video tutorials and thesis tutorials, and this video that I'm shooting right now is going to be embedded in a blog post um, on this blog here and don't forget to sign up for my email list so you can get these blog posts and videos emailed directly to your email inbox. Okay, let's start in today's lesson. I just have a very boring demonstration site and you can see there's some pictures here. Don't worry about that. That's not what we're talking about. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add SEO optimized images to WordPress blog posts and pages. Now I just happen to be using WordPress version 3.6.1 and what I'm teaching you will work with any version of WordPress from this point onward, 3.6 or later. Let's go click here and now we're going to be at a single post per page. So there's just this one blog post on this page. I'll show you how to maybe delete that later, but that's not what we're talking about. Okay, so there's the image uploaded at the top of a typical blog post. Looks fine, it's neat, it's clean, it fits great. Now, let me show you everything that's wrong with that image and how you can do better on your blog posts and pages. I'm gonna click once on this image, and you can see it brings me to a separate page, and on that page is just this image. I'm gonna click the image again, and now we have the full size of the image. It's 1,009. 120 pixels wide, so it's almost 2,000 pixels wide and a little over 1,000 pixels high. It's at 1,080 pixels high, and so I'm scrolling back and forth, um, and there you go. So it just takes, when I clicked on that image, it t just takes me to a page where just the pictures on that page and for the most part, that's pretty useless for most people. They don't want to do that. Here's the, it doesn't help them in other words. Okay, so this is the name of this file that we're looking at. It, I know it means nine pieces assorted, but a Google bot has no idea. A robot that's crawling your site for Google has no idea what those, that number and those letters mean. Okay, so let's go back here. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the home page, and I'm going to show you the proper way to add the same image but SEO optimized to this blog post. So let me just click here. We're in the dashboard of that demo site. I'm gonna to go to the media library. I'm gonna add new. But before I do that, actually, let's look at the image. This is the image, just click right there, nine pieces sorted. This is the image that we were just looking at that's you know embedded into that blog post. So I'm gonna scroll up, scroll down. Um, as you can see, there's no caption. There doesn't need to be. The caption is what ends up directly under the image, most people don't use that, you don't need to. It has no alternative text, which is really critical. Um, and it has no description, which is probably not important SEO at all. Um, here's the other important thing. Alternative text is very important. File name is very important. That's a meaningless file name. There's the dimensions, like I said, it's really huge uh, for picture. And that's important because the bigger the image file is that your page loads, the it will affect the SEO optimization. So Google, in other words, when it's ranking web pages and WordPress posts and pages and websites, it looks at the load times for those websites and those pages. So the slower the load time, the less likely you are to land on page one. And this is the title of, uh, that's called the title of this image. Okay, let's add a new one. We're gonna add basically the same thing, except it's gonna be smaller and have a better name. Select files. Go to now another reason that you want to give names so in other words if I go here you can see these names are fairly meaningless if I go back here these names have some more meaning now they just say one two three four five there uh, because I know I'm just using them for the demonstration site so I've got a bunch of files that are exactly the same size uh, if you mouse over here you can see once again it says the dimensions are 1920 by 1080 and the size is over one megabyte. Now, after I edit it, 
Let's go here. You can see it's only 590 pixels wide, 332 pixels high, and it's only 278 kilobytes in file size, which is about 75% smaller, which means it's going to load faster. So I'm going to click this, click open. We're uploading it. Now we're going to edit it. Okay, great. First of all, the file name, as you can see, is much more meaningful. Um, typically, WordPress will take the file name and stick it up here in the title. Uh, we don't need the two. Uh, I don't need the dashes in the title. And we can also make those large. So if people mouse over them or, you know, if they're searching for it in Google Images, we're going to copy the title. Now, the title is not so important in terms of SEO, but we're going to copy what's in the title, make sure it's meaningful, and we're going to put it, put it down here in alternative text. Caption, like I said, totally unimportant. Description, there's a little bit of a debate going on, but it's definitely not critical and not that important at all. Um, I'll go into that probably more in my blog post. Dimensions, once again, are rather small. File type name, there's the, the title. There's the actual name of the company right there. It's actually O Chocolate like that. And once again, we'll just copy what's up here. Now, when somebody mouses over this image in a blog post, what's in the title will pop up sometimes. And in other browsers, what's in alternative text will pop up. So it's important in terms of mousing over. But in terms of SEO, it's really the alternative text which Googlebots places the most emphasis on and the file name. And of course, by having a smaller size, we make the file load faster and the page load faster. Okay, so now I'm going to update that. I'm going to go back to the blog posts. We're going to go assorted chocolates the right way. Actually, let's just go back to that other post. I don't know if it's important, but if it's bugging you, like it's kind of bugging me, that there was a little image in there. That's just an image I loaded and later deleted from the media library. So you just go in here, click there, click update, and you are done. Okay, now we go back to all blog posts. We go back to assorted chocolates the right way. Uh, you can see there's no images. I'm going to put it at the top, so I'm putting my cursor there, add media. We, I know this is the last one we added, so I click that. We can see it has the same file name. The title and alternative text are there. Description, like I said, is not important. Really not significant at all. Captions, very unimportant. We, when I clicked on the box of chocolates, it took us to the separate page because it was linked to the media file. I don't want to link it, so I'm going to put it on none. However, if you wanted to click on that image and have it take you to a products page or a landing page or an affiliate link, you would put in the customer there and just put the link of where you wanted the visitor to be taken once they click on that image. But like I said, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, just going to leave it linked to none. Alignment, you can do left. If you align it to the left, text will float to the right of the image if there's enough room. Um, I just use none, which usually means that the text will not float to the right. Um, in this case, it's so wide that it's not going to matter. You have choices of sizes. I always like to go with the, the full size and edit it before I upload it. If you use a smaller size, it will add the dimensions to the end of the file name. I don't know if that's going to affect SEO so much. But anyways, let's just insert that into the post. Click Update. Okay, let's just go back to the site. And there you have it. Let's click on this blog post. So now it's just a single post per page. Everything looks great. If you click on it, it doesn't take you anywhere. But anyways, just remember, alternate text, critical, file name, important, file size, and loading speed is also very important. You can find this video on a blog post at jupiterjimsmarketingteam.com. Don't forget to sign up for the email list. Share with friends, family, and loved ones. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and have a great day.